summer 2019 anime season is about to drop some fire anime and adaptations, such as Vinland Saga, Promare, Ensemble Stars, The Ones Within, etc, etc. We're going to be getting some bangers this summer to summarize it. I plan to start a couple new anime myself as a matter of fact. I've heard Vinland is pretty good so I plan to start that one, but that's not what I'm making this video to talk about if you couldn't tell by the title. There are two anime adaptations coming out this season by the name of Dr. Stone, written by Richiro Inagaki and illustrated by Boichi, and Fire Force, written and illustrated by Atsushi Okubo, the man behind the Soul Eater manga, which by the way was fucking flames. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. This video stands as a recommendation for both the anime and so I can express my personal opinions on both of them. During my tier list video, shameless plug number one, it was a bit harder to express my opinion on these manga because the video was recorded in real time instead of scripted so getting my thoughts out in real time put a lot more pressure on me. Since I had to get the video right on the first time and there practically were no redos at all for me. Anyways, I hope this video gets you all into these pretty great series, not going to try to force these down your throat to each their own, but give it a chance when they come out. To start the video off, I'll go ahead and begin with the anime that's coming out titled Dr. Stone. I'm sure some, if not most of you have heard of this manga, well allow me to give a quick story summary. The story starts with the main characters Taiju and Sanku. Taiju is getting ready to confess his love to a girl by the name of Yuzuriha. But just as he's about to spill the beans, a bright light appears in the sky as Taiju begins to push Yuzuriha over to the tree behind her to pr to pr to As Taiju begins to push Yuzuriha to the tree behind her to protect her, the bright light begins to petrify all of humanity with every human being on the earth being turned to stone. Most humans began to lose their consciousness while all traces of civilization decay. But however, Taiji remains alive as the years progress. But however, Taiji remains alive as the years progress by his motivation to free himself and use Riha one. Eventually, Taiji breaks free from the stone and finds a message carved into the tree that leads him to discover that Senku has also escaped from stone keeping his consciousness alive by counting how long he has been petrified. Thus, Taiju learns that the date is now October 5th, 5738. Taiju and Senku then decide that they will rebuild civilization using the power of science. Now, if any of you didn't see my previous video on the newbie shonen tier list rankings, with it being high S tier, I previously gave out my opinions on this series as well as a couple others, but if you didn't see my last video then I'll basically be reiterating those thoughts, opinions, and why I recommend it, but backed with the script so it's more thought out, fleshed out, etc. I think this shonen from the first, I believe, 12 chapters I read, I, I, I believe that it's a breath of fresh air from the normal battle shonen that I read mainly. It's different than most shonen which is why I, I like it, and even previously in my tier list video, another little shameless plug, I put it in S tier because of a couple main factors. One of which being the story and how different it is from most other shonen. The other being the art and how well done it is. The style is really good and especially the color pages. And the characters from what I've seen are really decently written. The adaptation is being animated by TMS Entertainment and will be coming out on July the 5th. Which from the time of this recording is about a week from now. I highly recommend it even if you don't think you'll like it at all. At least consider peeping it. I get that everyone has their own opinions and such, but I guarantee it'll be a good watch. The last series I have for today's recommendation video is Fire Force, which I'm sure a good chunk of you have heard of. The manga is written and illustrated by Atsushi Okubo, which in the past created the legend which is known as Soul Eater. As usual, I will give my quick and brief story summary before I get into the opinionated part of the video. In the year 198 of the Solar Era in Tokyo, the Special Fire Force Companies 1-8 through eight are fighting against a phenomenon called Spontaneous Human Combustion, or SHC for short. Spontaneous Human Combustion is, if you can tell by the name, death by fire without an apparent external source of ignition. These humans become the Infernos known as Infernals. While the Infernals are the first generation causes of Spontaneous Human Combustion, Later generations possess the ability to manipulate flames while retaining human form. Our main character, Shinra Kusakabe, who has the badass nickname of Devil's Footprints for his ability to ignite his feet at will, 
joins the special fire force company 8 which is composed of other flame users as they work to extinguish any infernals they encounter as a faction that is creating infernals shinra begins to find out the cause of a mysterious fire that killed his family 12 years earlier time for me once again to shamelessly plug my last video in that last video i did include fire force among my newbie shonen tier list rankings with it being lower a tier or higher b tier just like with dr stone i will be reiterating my opinion fire force i feel is a pretty good manga it definitely has the potential to be as good if not better than soul eater the story is definitely pretty good since in terms of battle shonen it definitely is different from what i've seen i guess giving firefighting a new meaning you know fight fire with fire and such i like the characters in the fights the fact that the main character Shinra just fights with kicks is actually really badass, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely recommend that any of you watching this video peep the anime when it comes out. Like I said before, I'm not trying to force any of you to watch this, I'm just saying, give it a chance when it drops. The anime adaptation is being handled by David Productions, the studio most known for animating the adaptation of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and another new adap adaptation coming out by the name of Ensemble Stars. I mentioned that before earlier in the introduction of this video. Anyways, enough of my rambling though. Now aside from the two anime that I recommend in this video, I will more than likely watch a good majority if not all of the anime this and maybe even make a top whatever number of anime that comes out this video ranking them based on my opinions. I just want to clarify that so nobody gets triggered and say that I'm retarded or some shit for not ranking their favorite anime number one. Anyways, I do hope you guys peep those two adaptations this summer. I believe the anime season is starting out with Katsute Kami Data Kemone Kapatata. Oh my god. I believe the anime season is starting out with Katsute Kami Data Kemono Tachie in about a day, I believe. Yeah, a day. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you're still here, why not subscribe and like the video? Follow my Twitter if you want to keep up with me and different updates. Go check out my analyst account if you maybe want to see what I'm watching and reading. I don't know. The links will be in the description down below. Have a good day, night, or afternoon wherever you may be in the world. Shibo out.